Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to Lead Tech 73. And we're going to be doing a tech session. It ain't too many more. It's not that many people that comes in on this channel. So I will be able to be a little slower on the questions that I answer. And I just came from my other channel and I just answered as many as I could. It wasn't that many questions. So I was able to prepare over here. So I will be able to be a little bit more relaxed on this channel and answer as many things as I possibly can. So let me see what's going on. And by the way, did every everybody that plan on doing a stream yard tonight, I'm telling you right now, they're having problems and glitches. I, I would probably refrain from stream yard. I've been dealing with glitches, trying to start this out all day and nothing has changed so far. So I'm just giving everybody a heads up. If you can possibly just do a normal live, probably save your life i would pro save your life to save your life i would go that route okay now here we go here we go if you have technical questions i'm going to start the timer in a minute but if you have technical questions about some solar power generators that you just purchased or something of that nature and i've I got a lot of technical questions on my other channel just recently i'm gonna do my best to try to answer them for you and we'll hang out together until we get that stuff squared away. So until then, I want to welcome everybody in the room. How you doing, Laura's Garden? How you doing, my sister? Boy, you look familiar. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, Power Chair Farmer, how you doing, my brother? It's good to see you. You look familiar, too. <laughs> Let's see, Belinda in the house. Hey, Renaissance Grandma, how you doing tonight? Say, so I'll be learning from others' questions since all the info is valuable. And that's another thing that I like is I was able to answer a lot of questions. And if I couldn't get to certain questions, people can still ask. And other people are learning because they may have the exact same questions. So that's, that's what this is all about. And instead of me rattling on... <laughs> Um, some people enjoy that, but instead of doing that, I, I want to really answer some hard hitting questions if you guys want to, but in, in, if not, we'll just chop it up for a good 30 to 60 minutes. And, uh, if there's not too many people in the room, we'll actually bring people up. I'll invite you in. And there is one young lady that I do want to bring up because she has a, uh, call your son down here. I need his help. Back. I may have to step away for a minute. Uh, like I said, this this house is just too big. Nobody hears anything. Um, I want to help a young lady. She has a Blue Eddie EB3A, and I want to try to help her the best I can with that. So... Let's see what else we got here. How you doing uh, crafting in the cul-de-sac? How you doing tonight? What's going on, Delgado 747? If you guys got technical questions for me, I'm going to be able to answer them a little slower since the crowd over here is a lot, a lot smaller. By the way, this was that gas station I was telling you all about that was like from outer space that I almost had a panic attack in it because it was so weird and spaced out and technologically advanced. And I'm drinking more water. Somebody suggested me drink water yesterday because I, I had a dry throat. So I kept clearing my throat while I was talking. Okay. Melinda said, Led, you've inspired me to sell my RV and keep money in my pocket. Oh, uh, don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Uh, if you sold your RV, why did you do it? See, I have a reason I'm selling my RV. I'm selling my RV so I can buy my tiny house. So I hope you just didn't up and sell it because I said I'm selling mine. Don't, don't do that, okay? <laughs> but to say, you ain't going to have nobody coming after me. My wife sold our RV because of you. I don't, I, don't want, I don't want no trouble. 
Good Monday to you, my brother. What's up, Dave Busby? It's good to see you over here, man. Good to see you. Who we got now? Uh, oh, there you go. Let me see. How you doing? That that name in in. I'm gonna just call you B10 because that's the only way I can see it. Okay. Let's see what we got. Belinda said income ratio so I can buy my house. Okay. Okay. All right. You had me scared for a minute. I thought somebody was going to be coming after me. That's how you do it. Some stuff just got to go, right? Okay. Strawberry. There you go. So how can I start my tech prep? I have a solar panel, but I don't know what to get after that. Okay, um, Strawberry, what you need to do is here, you got to ask yourself this question right here. This is how you start. What do I need it for? Once you ask, what do you need solar power energy for or extra stored energy for? Then you build on top of that because that's your base foundation. What do you need it for? Then you start write. Get, don't be afraid to get a piece of paper and a pencil and write down what you need it for or even things of what you think you may need it for. That will help you. Trust me. I know it sounds childish. It's not. It's serious. Okay. Hey, TLC in the garden. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome, my sister. Welcome. Good to see you in here. Okay. Let me see. Here's a question. I'm going to I'm going to actually start. Remember, this is about tech. I'm answering all questions since there ain't that many people in here, but this is mostly about tech. So if I get a technical question, I'm going to sit on it for a minute. OK, so I'm starting a timer right now. Computer. Computer. Start timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes starting now. OK. What do you think about blow up tents? It depends on what brand it is and which one it is. Um, the one my friend cart, my cart runneth over was the most awesome tent on the planet. Yes, in my own opinion. It was the most awesome tent on the planet. So I love them. I haven't had any experience with them whatsoever besides going in my friend's tent, uh, cart runneth over. That changed my whole game and thought pattern on 10. Okay, let's see. How you doing, Anna Kay? How you doing tonight? Uh, let me see. My step two guards, uh, grateful for this session. Okay, if you guys got questions, I'm here. I'm going to do my best. Power chair farmer, good question. Says, my daughter tried to charge my Blue Eddy EB3A to my solar charge my blue eddy 3a to my solar panel i mean you probably said connect 800 watts and she fried it can it be fixed and is it worth it she hooked a blue eddy eb3a that's like 298 watt hours to a 800 watt solar panel see that wasn't a good idea in the first place, but here's my question to you, uh, Power Chair, is that EB3A has power surge. It actually has a, uh, a breaker on the side where you plug the power cable in. There's a little breaker button right there. You might want to try pushing that in. That's a lot of juice, but I still don't think it's... I don't think it would have fried it. Did you smell that that electrical burnout smell like burning plastic or it just doesn't come back on anymore? You might want to try to push that button, that breaker button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab my EB3A and bring it in here because there's another young lady that I would like to help in person. She's going to bring hers up shortly. Try that breaker box, though. There she is, Missy Hawk. Okay, I'm back. There you go, my sister. Um, do you have your EB3A with you? I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to keep the clock rolling, but then I'm going to go get my EB3A too because several people have that Blue Eddy and seem to be having a few problems with it. Anna Casey, I'm great. Just thank you. I'm just listening and learning. That's okay, my sister. Thank you for just being here. Okay. Uh, 
uh, Kathy Robbins. Hey, Led, is it me or should I have bought? Is it me or should I have bought? I have bought a different, oh, or should I have bought a different generator? This EcoFlow does not come with a panel connection cord. Kathy, I got your, I got your comment. And I'm gonna tell you this. EcoFlow, and it's not because I'm affiliated, I'm just telling you the, the truth. EcoFlow is one of the top leading best brands out there. And you keep telling me that it just didn't come with a cord. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? The, the Delta didn't come with a cord. All the rest of their products come with cords. Now, they're asking $20 for the MC4 connection cord, okay? If you're getting into solar, $20 is a blessing. I'm just telling you the Honest to God truth. Anybody in here can vouch for that with me. If all you're spending is $20 for an MC4 connector cord, I'm with you. It should have came with a cord. That wouldn't be no skin off your nose. But what happens is that just raises the price. And that would have been a price point that you would have been like, I'm not buying that. Just $20 on Amazon, extra $20 on Amazon. If you're getting into solar, that will not be the only uh, MC4 solar panel connector that, that, that you're going to need. I'm telling you that right now. You're going to need way more of those. You're going to need splitters so you can run parallel, things you can run in series. You're going to need extension cable to run the panels outside while your, your generator is in the house. I'm just telling you the truth, sister. If you're getting into solar power generators, I would I know you think that that's a downfall. That is not a downfall. You got one of the best solar power generators out there and it's missing an MC4 connector. Hey, hey, I tell you what, I will give you an MC4 connector because they cost like six bucks. I will give you one. I'm not even kidding because I know what you got. I know what you got. And trust me, you don't want to complain about it. that's nothing to complain about. You actually got a good one because there's people here with a Blue Eddy uh, EB3A that theirs is blowing up and not working anymore at all. So I would let that go. If I were you, I'm just saying you got a good you got a good device. I promise you this. Anybody in this chat would would uh, tra gladly trade their Blue Eddy EB3A for your EcoFlow Delta. I promise you that. That's a promise from me to you. I bet you anybody in here will trade you solid, even Steven. They'll give you all the cords to it and everything. I promise you this. That's a promise I can make to you. So trust me, that cord is no big deal. If, if it's sold out, I will find you one. Okay, email me at LeahFarmer73. That is not, I probably got 10 of them. They're no big deal. Trust me. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, am I at the bottom already? Okay. In, in your opinion, what is the most budget-friendly power bank? It's so many that come to my mind. I just can't even begin. It's just so many. Um. It's, it sounds like we need to have a, a, a email session between the both of us because you're really, truly trying to get started, started, okay? And budget-friendly, I need to know your budget. And, you know, don't put that out here on the internet. With your budget, then I can help you because my budget and your budget may be different, okay? All right, keep them questions coming, y'all. What kind of tiny house are you getting? I don't know yet. I'm not sure. So, Sonia, on, on tiny, are you thinking about getting a tiny house or do you have one? And if so, what kind do you have? Some of these I'm going to ask questions back at y'all. Since there's not that many people in the room, I can ask questions to y'all too. Okay, keep them, keep them questions coming. My screen over here is going crazy. This one is stuck. Wait a minute, y'all. 
my screen is stuck. Give me two ticks. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to read the questions from an entirely different panel, I think. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't know what just happened, but I was stuck. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Can EcoFlow Delta 2 Max be daisy chained? If so, how? What do you mean daisy chained with what? Because you know those have ex expansion batteries. What are you trying to do? Let me know what you're trying to do before I say yes or no. How you doing, Willie? Okay, so, okay, I have it next to me right now. Okay, I um, if you want to come up, I'm going to put put the um link back in the chat again, so that way you can actually show me right now since I'm not getting too many questions unless this thing is broken again. So I just put the link in the chat. Okay. Okay, Catherine, I got the eight already though. Okay. Let me see for, I got a Blue Eddy AC2000, uh, AC2000 already, and those items came with it. Bought MC4 splitter and connection pack on your advice already. Thanks for the offer, but I found a 100-foot extension with their connection. Oh, uh, I'm I, I'm not sure what you what you want me to do, Kathy Robbins. I'm trying to help you. I don't know exactly what you're asking of me. So I'm not I'm not quite sure how to answer your question if this is a question. I'm gonna keep it moving, okay? Shaggy said, "Hi, Led. Uh, we got our Bouger V freezer from your recommendation. It's great." Have you tried the flexible Bougar V Sig solar panels? Um, not yet. Not yet. Okay, I'm looking for those questions. And if anybody had any questions where they wanted to actually show me what they were talking about, uh, question-wise, I'm here. And I, you can come on up and we'll, we'll see what's going on. Okay, crafty, crafting in the cul-de-sac. Have you had any experience with the smart panel from EcoFlow? The smart panel? I thought I wanted a transfer switch. Oh! I thought I wanted a transfer switch, but wondering if I should hold out. I will be able to answer you tomorrow. I will be able to answer you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. That's all I got. To, that's all I can say about that this very moment. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, she is sunshine. How you doing? Good to see you. Um, okay. Kathy Robbins. Okay. Let's see. I have two eco flow pros. Okay, I, I'm not, I'm still not quite sure. Oh, oh, got you, got you, got you. Okay. Jose says, do you recommend practicing your preps even up north in this cold weather? Um, yes. Yes, practicing your preps, no matter that has nothing to do with where you are. You need to be practicing your preps is not just a, a snazzy little saying. Practicing your preps means practice your preparations in all ways possible for an emergency. If you do not know how to use your solar power generator, your heated blanket, set up your tent, get your wood stove, how to light a fire, <clears throat> uh, you're doomed. If you don't have all of these things and know how, to, I know a lot of people and we can talk about this for a hot second. There are a lot of people even here right now watching me on this channel. You purchase all of this stuff. You have no idea how to use it. Practicing your preps does not mean purchase your preps. That's something completely different. I know people are starting to think that 
they're starting to use the term practice your preps that I came up with. And they think it, it means purchase your preps. No, when I say practice your preps, when you purchase something for your safety in case of an emergency, you need to know how to use it. If you, I would even go as far as saying this. Um, sometimes buy two of them and use one of them. I don't know what it'll be. If you buy two, for instance, if you buy two packs of MREs, freeze-dried meals, eat one of them and see what it tastes like. Put the other one in your bag. You might be allergic or this one might make you puke. Taste it because you might be in an emergency and end up eating this and get sick out in the field. Trust me. If you bought an ax, go use it. Chop some wood for a day. See how it feels. Trust me on this. Practice your preps, not purchase your preps. Okay. How you doing, uh, uh, Davis Baker? Said, no questions. Been watching you going on three years. I just appreciate you so much. You are a real blessing, Mr. Led. Thank you for everything. I can't tell you the impact you've had on me. Thank you so much. What I'm trying to pronounce your name. Talaya? Talaya, I think it is. Well, thank you for that. Okay. I appreciate you too. Okay. Hey, I am Koa. How you doing? Says, is a 400 watt solar panel appropriate for the EcoFlow Delta Pro? This is what I'm going to have you do before I answer that. You got to read your manual. I know the answer to that, but you have to read your manual because it's not just about whether it's 400 watts or not. What you need to know is how many volts and how many amps is that solar panel and does that coincide with what that what that uh solar power generator asks for you have to do that we get caught up in the watts of something and we just totally forget about the um the voltage and the wattage and you will burn something up or it may not be enough to take a charge from the unit that you have so I want you to look in the manual and in the manual, in the beginning of all most solar power companies in the manual, there's a place either in the beginning, usually in the beginning, because the back be in some different languages. In the beginning, it's going to give you a list of all of the attributes of this, this unit. It's going to tell you how many incoming volts, how many incoming amps that it can use, how many outgoing so on and so forth, how many watts, all of that is very important, okay? I know the answer to that, but I need you to read that manual or you're gonna hurt, you gonna, you, you may hurt yourself or you may never get it to operate properly because you're not actually giving it enough power, okay? I hope that helped a little bit. Let me see, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, let me see. Oh, Zach Price is in here. Fat guy with guns. What's up, my brother? I don't see you, but I see everybody. There he is. My man. What's going on, brother? It's good to see you. I'm in here answering technical questions, and I'm wide open, man. All I'm doing is talk about tech. Nothing else today. No garden. Just tech. If you got them questions, man, I'm here, and I'm going to answer them to the best of my ability. Okay. Here go, here go Missy Hawk right here, since there's no questions right out the gate. I just saw you, Missy. Give me two ticks, okay? Lead is there. Okay. Is there an alternative expansion battery I can use with the EcoFlow Delta Max 2000? An alternative expansion battery? Yes, there is, but you can buy a lithium, uh, a lithium battery, a standalone lithium battery, but then you got to start buying other things to keep that charge and how it's going to charge. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to save some money. And there's ways to do that. Here's the thing about the EcoFlow Delta Max. Those batteries are smart that it comes with. And I'm going to actually break that down in another video on this channel and show you why using their batteries is better than trying to use an external battery to just store power. It's nothing wrong with that. 
but those batteries are smart and they're all being controlled by you on an app or on that screen. It's worth the money. Okay, so nothing wrong with trying to get an external source of uh, storage power. But those batteries, they did that for a reason. And, and now that I have one, I know exactly why. Okay. Okay, here I come. I had a transfer switch installed on my breaker panel, which with just six circuit, do you think it's best to install another transfer switch or buy a larger transfer switch with more circuit? circuit do you think it's best to install another transfer switch or buy a larger transfer switch with more circuits oh okay i don't give no no breaker panel advice whatsoever this is always my advice and i only do this for my legal legal purposes legal reasons call an electrician i cannot give you no advice on going into your electrical panel and doing absolutely anything I cannot legally give you any advice or suggestions on that whatsoever, okay? I'm sorry about that, but I just can't. All right, Missy Hawk, I'm coming to the stage, y'all. Coming to the stage. Missy Hawk, how you doing? You ready? Okay, here we go, y'all. Missy Hawk has a question. How you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm all right. I think I'm okay. I think good, good. You look good. You look good. You look like you're doing okay. I'm trying, I'm trying. You know, <laughs> got to do a little something my hair. You know. <laughs> hear from you. What we got going on? So yeah. So uh, about a week ago, I you I wanted to just test the EB3A just to see because I've been just doing little tests here and there just okay. to see how how many what items I have that can pull what amount of watts I know it's only 268 watts so I don't go overboard right. so I wanted to just test out the new air mattress that I got with the little pump okay. so um, like I had said in the comment I, it took about maybe like 110 watts at the most but it only took like maybe six minutes to blow it up right so it was charged at 100 percent it took it down to like 70 not maybe not 70 like 97 percent something like that okay. and i was like okay cool this is good i know i can use this no problem the problem was i unplugged everything and then i said okay i just want to charge it back up to 100 so i plugged it up but i left it i forgot about it and left it plugged overnight that's fine okay so when I got up the next day and remembered when I went to it, it said overload and it was down to like 79 percent. But I didn't have anything plugged up to it. So for me, being the newbie and I'm still testing the waters, I was scared that I messed it up and I haven't done anything else with it. It doesn't say overload on it anymore, but it's at like 79 percent. <laughs> Okay, do you have it with you anywhere you could just grab or? Yep, right here. Okay. Uh, can you turn it to the side where you plug it in at? I'm going to try to make it. You plug bit. it in right here. Right. Uh huh. Okay, right next to that plug is a circuit breaker, little button. Turn it around and look at that. See that little button okay. right there? And it feels mm -hmm. real loose. Have right. You, have you tried to push that in at all? I did. Okay. Um, would you would you be willing to try to plug it back up now? Yeah. Right, let's give it a shot. Okay. Let me give me just a second. Okay. No, take your time. I was just like, oh, I hope I didn't mess up my little thing. No. But I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah. EB3A. I'm trying to remember. Is that the one I got? Yes. Okay. All okay. right. So I plugged it in. Mm -hmm. And it's saying, if I could turn it. Can you see that? It's charging. It's charging. Right. Okay. Okay. So, like, when, and I haven't plugged it in, but right here, was where it said overload that day. Right, right. 
I don't know what happened. You probably mm -hmm. had a search on the grid in your house. Oh, okay. It happens. If you ever okay. plugged up anything in your house and just got that quick pop. Yeah, yeah. That could have happened. I okay. Mean, you know, but it's, okay. it seems to be working now. Okay. Because I was, I was like, okay, what did I do? I'm too afraid to plug it back in because I don't want to blow it up. Right. Oh, um, because I, I have like just been doing my research and making sure that I'm not overloading it or I don't even test anything that's higher than 260 watts. I, I just been doing, like I said, little things. Right. And I was just like, what did I do? I just used it. So I, that's what that's what I was afraid of. And the fact that I had just done that, but I also just got all my Thanksgiving stuff, all the mm -hmm. Black Friday stuff that I <laughs> lost lost my mind on. Right. The jack right. the jackery and all of that. I'm right. yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, okay, I'm I'm trying to pay attention. So okay. All well, right. It, I was just I was just really afraid that I messed it up, that I did something to it. But that makes know, sense, like you're saying. That it might have been a little power surge. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And and honestly, that's why I started this channel, really, mm -hmm. because I really wanted to talk to people live, just like this, so I can see because people want answers typing. Number one, mm -hmm. I'm not good at typing. Number two, words can be misconstrued. And right. I like to see exactly what I'm looking at so I can help you. So this this is great. And there's nothing wrong with being a little scared, especially if you you a newbie. Mm -hmm. And them little weird things that happen. Some of this stuff happens to all of us. But if you knew, you don't know is wrong or right. Right. Yours, right. Okay. Your right. Because I I read the comment about the guy with the his EV his daughter hooked up the EV three A to a four hundred watt solar panel. Yeah. And even and even for me, I was like, well, that's way too much. I'm thinking because. Yes. I know I read this. This can only take 200 max 200 watt solar panel. So even with that, that's I've been just making sure that I stay within the realm of what it can handle. Right. And then also, like I said, the new stuff that I got, although the Jackery did come with the, the panels, that was a great deal. Right. Right. So but yeah. So that's the thing. If Listen, I'm going to be having I'm going to start this channel coming in 2024. I'm mm -hmm. going to come in with this channel hot so we can all get these answered and get everything out of the way. I know I cooled off on this channel a lot because I got a lot going on if you have been yeah. watching. Yeah, no, I have. I have. So, I understand. So I'm going to be coming in because a lot of people got a lot of this Black Friday stuff they got, like you said. And a lot mm -hmm. of people, you know, the holidays rolling around, a lot of people going to get a lot of good deals from EcoFlow and all these other companies. Right. And they really don't know what's going on. So I want to be here to help as much as I possibly can with us using this stuff because I don't want you to just buy it. I need you to use it. Right. And no, and I've been, and like I said, I've been using it. It was just that one thing happened and that just kind of, it scared me because I was like, okay, I thought I did everything right, but I didn't, I didn't know. Right. I didn't and even think about a power surge. And it's nothing wrong with leaving it plugged up all day. It's nothing okay. wrong whatsoever. Okay. okay. I thought I thought so, but I was just like, Ugh. yeah. I think I'm trying to remember. Does that? I think that one has the the USP on it where you can the the shutdown. It stuff. does. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. It does. Up all day, all night. There's no problem. Okay. 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 Um, and then I do have another question for you too, just not regarding this one, because right. I got it. I got an AC 180. Okay. I got that too. It came with a little um, grounding screw. Do I need to put that in? A grounding screw? Where does yeah, this supposed to go? In the side of it. It was in the package. I just. Oh, if, I, if it belongs in the side. So it was in a package and not already installed in the. Unit. Right. It, go ahead right. And put that in. Just put it in just for safekeeping. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, because I haven't, I haven't started that one yet. I was like, I don't, I didn't see anything about this grounding screw. What do I do? You no, know, because that's something they probably should have had already screwed in. And that's okay. what I was telling our friend earlier is 
some of these things that is either missing from your package and some of these things don't come with certain things, mm -hmm. no big deal. It really right. isn't compared to what you just purchased, you know. Okay. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and, and put that in and then I'll start my little testing on that one too. All right. Well, but I'm telling you, I'm like, I'm excited though. And I'm, I'm, I'm hope I'm, I'm hoping I'm this close to being at the, at the, um, at the, the camp in February. Oh, oh listen, I got, I would, I would love to see you. Yeah. yeah. I, I talked to one of my friends. She lives in Myrtle beach. I was like, uh, you want to go camp with me? She was like, yeah, when? So. <laughs> well, listen, we're going to actually do a live. I'm waiting for Lady Liv. We're going to do a live together starting on the first and probably okay. even before that. And we're really going to do the whole camping thing and talk about the camp, what to expect, what's coming, so on and so forth. Okay. Yeah. I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm getting ready for it. My tent came the other day, so I have to oh. pull it out and, and, and season it. There you, there you go. There you go. Season. Was that you that emailed about seasoning? No. Mm -mm. Oh, I got a bunch of seasoning questions over there. <laughs> but thank you, my dear. But thank thank you, you so much. much. I appreciate you answering that question and everything that you, you talk to us about and everything that you do. I just Anytime. keep on move, moving forward. Appreciate you. My best. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Keep Have a good night. Keep in contact. I'm sorry. Okay. I will. Keep in contact. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. We was able to help fix it. I knew it. those things is some tough machines. So I was like, I don't know. I think that one's going to be okay. All right. Let's get back in here and answer some more questions before this timer go off. Okay. It's about to go off in a second, too. I'm going to go back and, and try to catch these questions. Okay, that I, I here. Okay, Liz, there alternative. We gonna do sixty minutes with this one too. Computer, cancel. Computer, set timer for sixty minutes. Oh. One hour starting now. Computer, set timer for thirty minutes. Computer, set timer for thirty minutes. Second timer, thirty minutes starting now. Do you okay. want to name this timer? Yes, get off YouTube. Okay, I'll call the get off YouTube. 30 minutes, starting now. Okay, y'all, okay. And Fat Guy with Guns said, let us their alternative expansion battery. Fat Guy with Guns, do me a favor, text me. Text me, because so, we, I really want to get in depth with what you just got going on in purchase. Please text me, or I'll text you, because I know you got some questions. Okay. Oh, there, that answered that one. Okay. She is sunshine said question about the eco flow. Do you have to get the app or will it work? Even when, even if you don't connect the app in case something happens to your phone, uh, tablet, etc. Hmm. Yes, it works without the app, but I'm going to give you the honest truth. <clears throat> Years ago, I bought my first eco flow river. My first EcoFlow River had a problem and I thought it was the company's fault. And I did a whole video on EcoFlow having a problem with the EcoFlow River. And I was kind of PO'd about it. Come to find out, because remember back in them days, I was like, I refused to download the app, you know, because I thought, you know, with all the stuff that was going on back then, I don't know if it's going to be some phishing spyware and all that other garbage. If you do not download the app, you will not be able to update the firmware and you will not know get all of the uses out of your solar power generator. If you don't download the app, especially on these newer solar power generators just coming out with all companies, even the, the off brand ones we're not familiar with. If you don't download these apps, uh, you may as well just buy a standalone lithium ion battery, lith lithium phosphate battery and just do what you can with it. If you don't want to download the app and you just need the backup power and you want to go cheaper, just buy a 200 amp hour, uh, 12 volt lithium ion battery. Those apps are super important. And I used to be a person where I refused to download the app on my phone. 
every you got to download look at all the you on youtube right now somebody if they really wanted you they'll get you you know um so i would please suggest downloading the app or you won't be able to you hardly use some of these newer technological advances without the apps okay how you doing Tra hey traveling through how you doing uh let me let me see i'm i'm checking for them questions i'm going all the way down again here we go was she charging it with a load on it? No, she said she had unplugged everything from it and plugged it in. It just probably sparked. It happens. Okay, South Padre says that Jackery 300 is tempting. Can I have too many solar power generators? You want to hear my answer to that? Absolutely not. You cannot have too many. You can't have too many gas generators. And you cannot have too many solar power generators, in my own opinion, because everything that's going on, I need as much backup power as I can get. That's number one. Number two is each solar power generator is for something completely different. Each gas generator is for something totally different. Are you trying to run an entire RV with an air conditioner running, refrigerator, using the microwave and the TV is going, a microwave? Or are you just needing something to charge a cell phone, something light and compact and portable? Are you needing something that's portable, but you might have to put a little muscle in it because you're going to need a lot of power? All of that stuff is different. And there is no way to dumb it down to just one unit fits all. It's just not, it really just is not whatsoever. So you... Don't take my advice on that because I, I need as many as I can get. Okay. Uh, the most high says usually it's good to charge when it's not under load if that was the case. No, nope, not necessarily. If, if it's under load and you're charging it, it shouldn't have a problem. I've never had a problem while I'm charging something. And then now the solar power generator itself needs a charge. Just plug it in the wall. You should not have a problem. Okay, that's right, uh, South Padre. Let's see. Say unplugging so something odd happened. Probably. Okay, let me see. I love it when you are on this channel. I think I'm in the cornfield on the other channel. I, a lot of people keep thinking they're in the cornfield. I, I don't know why. I'm going to have to check that out, okay? This is what I got to say, because people keep thinking they're in the cornfield and they will comment on the channel and said, I think I'm in the cornfield because I can't get in the lie. If you're in the cornfield, you can't get in. You can't comment at all. What happens is. If you trigger one of the keywords that I either have programmed into my life, like political words, or if you say something like uh, that one president that was president before this president. This president, the president before both of these presidents, if you say any of their names, everything I watch on the news, if it sparks any hatred, uh, abuse, sexism, uh, back and forth, controversy, I put that in and I program that word on my list. And if you say it, that comment goes directly to the cornfield. So if you say this president's name, this president now, your comment, I will never, ever, never, ever see it. Or the one before him, or the one before him. I don't deal with politics, or it's certain words, trigger words that I just don't deal with. So you're not in the cornfield. Clearly, what it is is you may be commenting and saying something. Oh, here's one of the trigger words, the band aid that we had to go get in 2020. If you say any form of that word, it's it's stricken from you. That comment goes straight to the cornfield. I don't like dealing with that stuff. So it's easy for me not to deal with it by just automatically sending it off. Okay. Okay. Let me see. All right. All right. Power Chair Farmer says, she said the EB3A made a sizzle noise. I tried the circuit protector button and still, yeah, if it made that sizzle noise like Ponderosa or some sizzling bacon, it's, it's fried. If you tried to hook that EB3A, which is 256 
watt hours. I can't even remember the volts and the, and the amps on that thing. You tried to hook an 800 watt. I, I don't even need to know the voltage on that or the amps. I just know all I smell is bacon grease when I just hear that. So even if it had a surge protector, it, that's almost like plugging it up to lightning, though. You know what I'm saying? It got a surge protector on it, but whoo! That is that is fried like a hot, deep fried burrito. Yeah, I think that one is is finished. Can it be fixed? I'm sure it can be fixed because probably all was fried was the circuit board. Something in there is fried. Is it worth fixing depending on how much you pay? I don't know because I don't know if you could send it back to the company. If it's warranted, I would try to send it back. Um, don't show them this video. And um, what I've had several failed solar power generators from companies that I don't deal with because of that. And I saved those solar power generators because even though they failed or they was pieces of crap or fried, I keep them because I want the batteries and I will take the batteries out of them and keep the batteries, the lithium batteries. Okay, here we go. Okay, just listening to all these winds blowing here. Okay, made sure generators are charged, electric blanket five mat. Okay, all right, okay, okay, all right, all right, okay. Uh -huh. Jake? <laughs> okay, Jake, I'm coming for you, Jake. Let me stop tripping. Okay, let me get in here, get some questions, y'all. Give me get some questions. Is there any more questions, technical questions with these solar power generators, solar panels as well? Okay, he carried me through. How you doing, my sister? Say, hey, brother Lid, can I daisy chain a Blue Eddy generator into the EcoFlow Pro without any issues? Not sure if I can use different brands. I mean, when we say daisy chaining, you that word is really really like loose loosely used if you mean can you have your say your um it coming out of the cigarette lighter port from your eco flow into the eight millimeter eight millimeter barrel plug into your blue eddy then yes or can you use your ac adapter and plug the ac into the Blue Eddy and plug it in that will plug your Blue Eddy in that way, then yes, you will lose, you will lose some power that way, some voltage, but you will still charge it. So if, yeah, if that's what you want to do, but if you're talking about using any of the smart cords, no, you can't, they can't see each other. Even if they fit, I have two products where the, the smart cords fit. And they do not read each other at all. Okay. Vision preparedness in the house. What's up, man? That's right. Too many is not an, an option. Absolutely. You can't have too many. Vision preparedness in the house, y'all. Give that man a round of applause. He carried me through. Also, what gauge extension cord should I use when running a cord from the generator to where my refrigerator or wherever it is plugged in to you trying to run it to your refrigerator if you're trying to run a, a a drop cord you want to go with a thickest gauge as you possibly can get i mean i'll j i just wouldn't do that me personally i wouldn't i just wouldn't do it because if you got a drop cord running through your house to a refrigerator coming from your solar power generator, depending on, I don't know the age or how efficient your refrigerator is. If you just ran any old cord to it, it those cords get hot. If, if they're not the proper gauge, they will literally melt that plastic and catch on fire. I just would not do that. I wouldn't do it. Not me personally, I wouldn't. I would have a short, as short of a cord as possible and thick of a gauge as possible. Okay. 
Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get the questions, y'all. Here we go. Uh, just purchased EcoFlow Delta Pro and plan to buy another one. Do I need to buy double voltage hub to get 7,200 watts? Double voltage plug to get 7,200 watts. You plan to buy another Delta Pro. Can I tell you to wait? I would wait on that if I were you. I would wait. <laughs> I would just wait. I'm not even going to advise that at this very moment. I would just wait a minute. Okay? I'm telling you, it's a reason. I'll be able to tell you tomorrow, but I would wait. Miss Harriet Claire, how you doing today? So what is your advice? Do you think and believe the internet will go down? What do you recommend? Yes, I do think the internet will go down. It goes down everywhere all the time, every day, somewhere. It might not happen in your town, your municipality. It happens all over the place. Yes, and if the real question again is, do I think all internet will go down all across America all at one time, there is such a possibility, more of a, pro, not, not a probability. I say yes. I say definitely yes. We are, this. we have several countries at war right now, right now. And all of the people that's fighting these wars, not, they don't, none of them like us. Um, then we got hackers everywhere. Keep messing with the grid. The infrastructure of the grid suck. I really do truly think. That's why I'm so desperate on everything I'm doing. It look like I'm trying to rush everything. Yes. I, I, I don't want to get into conspiracies. This is just factual. I said it earlier. When you drive over a bridge, it got potholes in a bridge. Where they do that at? Right? How can you have crumbling roads on an overpass bridge that's how bad our infrastructure is so when i see things like that when the, the city not only does not have enough money to maintain its bridges overpasses railroad and if they don't have enough money to handle that let me break it down to you when you drive down your street in in your city potholes everywhere i don't care where you are in america potholes everywhere street lights don't work power lines always down and blowing up all it take is one car to hit one power line and now half the city is out what does that tell you about our infrastructure right okay if all it takes is one doggone uh, chevy chevette to crash into a telephone pole to blow all half the city imagine what a hacker could do that his intentions is to knock out the lights i do think the internet will go down i do think all of the social media will go down i do think the lights will go down i do think the grid will go down i just do is is factual the question to me is when and i don't want to be walking around with my thumb in my cheeks when it happens, I want to be ready. So yes, to that question. I, I'm sorry I went so in depth, but I really do truly believe uh, that we are not okay with none of this. Okay, I don't want to go deep because I will go deep with that one. I'm glad it's not that many people in here so I can answer these the way I really want to. Okay, how you doing, uh, Happy Mac? Let me see, let me keep them coming. Keep them questions coming. Thank you for that power chair farmer. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. I'm glad I caught that because I'm trying to look at the camera and look and look at the. Okay, get more questions. More questions. Uh, let me see. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, Jake. It's saying my camera. 
is going low and we aren't meeting our time limit yet. So I think that may help. I think that just helped. Okay, you guys, bring the questions. We are running out of time and I do not want to keep you here. I already kept y'all here for almost four hours yesterday. And today I really want to get some hard hitting questions and I don't want to ramble on. Now, if you don't have tech questions, <clears throat> which I see is very, is not too many tech questions. Do you have any other questions? I will try to answer them. Um, let me see. Here we go. Vision preparedness. Exactly, Led. It's not, it's not if it's about when the grid will go down. If you guys really want me to go there, I will. I, I so will. If you really want me to go there, I kid you not. Y'all don't want to hear my, my opinion about that situation. I kind of try to stay away from that because it start getting weird and then go down, you know, conspiracy alley. I don't like playing down there. So um, let me see here. Okay. Say, I need to prepare for a complete shutdown. What communication devices have you reviewed? You want to know something? Some of the things that I have, I haven't reviewed and I won't. Be, I can't even tell you why. I have communication devices that I don't even really want to talk about. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Some things you got to do some research and some things you have to practice. When I say practice, get your license for or learn about how to use certain things. Communication is everything. And frankly, if anything happened to these satellites, your communication is, is crap anyway. I don't care if you got a ham radio or what. It ain't none of this mess going to work. Okay, <laughs> look at this. Uh, say, go there, please. You don't want me to. You really don't want me to. Um, tell us your thoughts, Led. Okay. I have a Blue Eddy EBA, I think 3A, and a Lee Power. Should I graduate to an EcoFlow for my next purchase? I would. I would. You need a little more power than that. And your Lie Power, what size is it? Your, your Lie Power, is that a standalone lithium battery or is that a, another solar power generator? Thank you, Harriet Claire. I, I got you. I got you, my sister. I, we are talk. Um, thank, thank you, Shaggy. Said so thank you for sharing your time with us. Thank you. You are very welcome. I knew it was 300 watts, Sonia. You need a little more power than that. And it's a solar power generator. Okay. 300 watt solar power generator. Yes, definitely. You may need a little bit more juice. Because I, oh, golly, fat guy with guns, man, you hitting the nail right on the head, brother. Said, Led, what is a good affordable drone I can get for surveillance? Boy, you stirring, y'all stirring me up. Y'all gonna make me go overboard, and I got this for an hour. Listen, I haven't dibbled and dabbled with the new versions of the DI, uh, DJI Mavic, the Mavic Pro, and all of the new DJI Go, go, DJI. I'm a, I can't go in depth with that right now. I still have my DJI Spark and I still have my DJI Mavic Pro. I still use them both to this very day. They are probably six, seven years old. They still work better, just as good as these new ones. I love them. And I'm going to talk to you. Man, Zach, man, me and you got to talk. Me and you, we got to talk. I'm serious. We got to talk. Okay, even Dave Busby says DJI all day, all day. Matter of fact, my drones, I got to go get my drone. They are, they are not here, by the way. Zach, we got to talk for real, man. Okay, you guys want to know what's on my mind. It's 119 people here. Y'all want to know what's on my mind about the grid. I keep getting this grid question. So I, I take it we, we're done with questions and these last few minutes you want to know what's on my mind. Am I, am I wrong by 
um, thinking this, because if you want to know what I think, for real, for real, like we're not on my Lea Farmer channel. We're on the tech channel and I'm a devil and dabble. It's a reason I started this channel. It's a reason. Thank you, Missy Hawk. Thank you for that. Say thank you again for taking the time to assist me. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. You know, I got your back, sister. I got you. I show sure appreciate it. All right. He carried me through, says, let's chop it up. Thank you, Missy Hawk, 2222. Fat guy with guns even said, break it down. Okay. Let's do it. Y'all asked. Y'all asked for it, so let's do it. Okay. Um. All right, we're going to do this to the bell ring. And I'm going to even take y'all vote 30 more minutes, if so. Because it's about to ring. And what I got to say ain't quick. I hate going down this way, man. Because I get deep and then she don't even like hearing me fuss about this stuff. I like to talk about reality. I don't like to talk about the fantasy. I don't like to talk about the what ifs. I like to talk about the reality of what is happening. Not what if, who if, no. I want to talk about what is happening that is affecting me and my surroundings. Okay? There is no question and I, again i'm not going to talk about no conspiracy crap i don't want to hear that y'all if y'all coming in with that leave me alone the food shortages in certain areas it is a real thing when i say food shortages let's let's be realistic i'm a realist okay i'm not talking about the shelves are empty oh there's no more food that's that's not what i mean by food shortage what I mean by food shortage is they have started, they have put and showed us what they plan to feed us in the next coming years to come. Magic meat. This, that's not a, that's not fictional. That's not a conspiracy. They, it's on the news. They, it's on all the television programs. They're telling us, get prepared for magic meat. They're bioengineering food. We already know this because we are eating bioengineered food right now. They're not shamed to tell us anymore because they've been pulling the wool over our eyes for so long. We've been eating this and being unhealthy for so long. We're all addicted to these so-called magic meat style foods that now they got us right where they want us. They know you going to eat it whether you want to or not. We already got you hooked. This ain't no different than Nino Brown at the schoolyard. He give you your first dose for free. Remember that? This is like hood. This is normal hood talk. This is not conspiracy. Just go look it up. Google it. CNN it. Whatever ABC News it, whatever you want to do, it's everywhere. It's not a joke. It's not a, a conspiracy theory. It's not one of these weird preppers that live underground. Talk about some, they're coming to get us, man. Put on your aluminum foil hat. No, this is normal, real. And the scientists are laughing at us because now we're so addicted. People keep thinking that we're going to start eating bioengineered meat. lab grown meat we're gonna start eating it we've been eating this crap man we've been eating it listen i was in school i was in the culinary arts i wanted to be a chef when you are in culinary school you learn a lot of ways to cook all kinds of different foods no matter whether it's cream it's milk and I'm going to I'm going to touch on a subject about cream too that's going to blow your mind. Cream, milk, um, different kinds of meat, different cuts of meat, different textures of meat. The reason why you use this kind of 
this cut of meat, this cut of beef with this uh, platter is, is certain reasons. I And I'm here to tell you right now, I don't care how many times you bang this doggone um, chicken breast with this mallet, it will never, ever, never, ever have the texture of a McDonald's chicken sandwich. I don't give a damn if you soaked it in buttermilk for a week. It will never have the texture of a McDonald's chicken sandwich. You see how kind of, if you've ever eaten a McDonald's chicken sandwich, it got a it got a pull to it almost a almost a you'll be eating fine at first and then you will hit a piece that's rubbery and you'll even be like what was that piece your greedy ass chomp 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 mm. I must I must hit a bump in the road you gonna keep on eating am I lying about it African dreaming in the house African dreaming. You're going to keep on chomping because you ain't going to spit it out and take it back and say something is wrong with my chicken sandwich. They got you right where they want us, man. They got us hooked. We're going to keep on buying it. We're going to keep on eating it. And everybody can talk about it all you want to. But if you ain't trying to process your own chicken, and you ain't trying to grow your own food in your own backyard. You're not trying to power your home and power your life with your own solar power generators. Then you already made your own decision for yourself. We can't blame. You can't blame the dealer. You can only blame him for introducing you to the addiction. You can only blame the drug. You can only blame the dealer for introducing you to the product. You can't blame him for, for you taking it. You can't blame him for you getting hooked on it. And you can't blame him for you creeping through people's windows at night stealing VCRs just to get another hit. You can't blame him. Stop. You can't blame the golden arches. Like, you know, people uh, be like 500 pounds. We're like, oh, McDonald's did this to me. Don't blame them. You can't blame the dealer. They just put, they just lit the sign up. They just lit up the arches, the golden arches. You got in your car, turned the key, hit the gas, went and drove all the way to there, went through the drive through waited for about 45 minutes, finally got your food, went through the bag. Hey, y'all forgot my other sandwich. Asked for another. Oh, we're going to give you one for free. We're sorry about that. Now you got four sandwiches in your bag, and you sat there and ate every last one of them with your greedy ass, and then you get sick. Computer, cancel. My get off YouTube timer is up. You can't blame people for that. And we always pointing fingers at everybody else for our problem. When it comes to this grid and the infrastructure of our society, I'm going to tell y'all a reason why you see me preparing with so many different things. Um, and I don't want to hear that one but every, when every time I say because I'm scared people are like oh God didn't give us the spirit of fear that ain't what I'm talking about when I say I'm scared and y'all take that way out of context anyway that ain't what I mean I'm talking about I just have I it ain't a feeling I have of what's going on I know what's going on and if you don't have anybody in your family that's in the military, whether they're active, it's some people that's not active in the military anymore, but still have plenty of active friends and comrades still in the military. They know things that the average Joe don't want to know. You don't want to know it. You don't want to hear it. The average Joe walking around thinking everything is okay, you do not want to hear what these people know. For real. You don't want to hear it. Because you're not going to want us. You're not going to want to hear the truth. It's like somebody telling you fat as hell. You do not want to hear that. That just probably ruined your day, right? Yeah, you don't want to hear that. You was having a good day. It's no different than somebody telling you, hey, you know what that country about to do? You don't want to hear that. You was having a good day. 
You don't want to hear that. You know what that country is over there preparing to do to us? You know what they're about to do with the money? You know how they're about to change the doggone the, the currency? You don't want to hear that. And most people that come into um, hearing some of us talk about this stuff, you go to separate channels, different channels, and you hear it on television, you hear it on YouTube, you hear it on TikTok, you hear it on all these, and you think us preppers are crazy. Some of us are. <laughs> Some of us are. I ain't gonna lie. But for the most part, a lot of these people that's preparing for bad times, the things that they're telling you ain't far off. That See, back in the day, the aluminum foil hat thing, those dudes living in school buses, that was, that was crazy for the times, right? But right now, is it so crazy anymore? Not to me. Not with what I know. Not with what I see. Not with what I see. Right? Right, Belinda. Uh, let me see. TLC says, by the time you hear it on the news, it's too late to prepare. And a lot, and you're so right. A lot of people, they don't want to believe that they're doing these things to the fool. It's not a, it's not a, it's real, man. It's not a, a conspiracy. They're telling you, they're telling you what they're doing. And people just act like it's okay. I'm going to be honest with you. This is me. Yo. I'm trying hard to get away from the cities. That's all I can say. There's a movie. Everybody in here. Everybody in here. Here's some homework. There's a kind of weird like mini series or movie. It's weird as hell. It's on Netflix right now, and it's called, hey, babe, can you pull up, wait, I think I can pull it up myself, hold on, there's a there's a, a movie or a show or something on Netflix right now that I watched the other day when she was out of town, and let me tell you, y'all need to watch this, because the movie is I'm going to be honest, it was whack. I think it's an M, M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong production. Let me see where's my Netflix. Uh, I'm almost sure it's a Shyamalan Ding Dong production. I'm almost positive of it. Uh, I can't find it. But if y'all see this movie, uh, let me see. Have anybody seen this movie on T? Leave the world behind so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you, Harriet Claire. Have I ever used the Icy Breeze air conditioned cooler? I thought because how much you work outside. No, I've never used that. Okay, right. Harriet Claire. It's called Leave the World Behind. Have anybody heard of this movie on Netflix right now? Anybody? If you have heard of this movie, if you have never heard of this movie on Netflix right now, Leave the World Behind. Everybody need to watch that. And I just found my, my Netflix. It's it's the it's the trending movie. It's every it's in almost every category. Top results, picks for you, uh, trending, everything on Netflix. This movie is in almost every category. Okay, I'm not going to tell you about the movie. All I'm going to tell you is it's almost. Trust me. Um, I think the reason why they put it up was to give you 
The movie is dumb. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. It was dumb to me. But I don't think they were trying to make a blockbuster summertime hit. Okay. I think what they were trying to do, you got to show your face, my friend. What they were trying to do was give you the human emotion and how unprepared everybody are to everything. I'll be right with you, my friend, right with you, okay? So um, they're showing us, like, right, how clueless people are when an emergency happens. And some of the things that get real and something I've been talking about for over eight years, which is your best friends who become your worst enemies and you can't be relying on them for their stuff. They've been preparing while you sitting around going to the opera and stuff. You can't that you can't do that. You know, then when you need help, you go to them. That's not your friend anymore. Once that 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 line is crossed, once the world changes like that. Once the grid goes down or the lights go out, people get different, man. They get different, period. Okay, it's human nature. So please go watch um, Leave the World Behind. I'm about to tell y'all this other one. No, no, it's not Tiny House Nothing. It's, it's You got these three couples, and they're living off grid. Golly, what is it? Jeez. Got a little school bus on it, and I can't even. Okay. If y'all know about that one, and it's, it's separate episodes of this, where people are going to try to live off-grid, they're trying to leave, leave the cities and go off-grid and see if they can actually do it, please watch that and look how these young folks love each other so much. Until they get put in one of them tiny houses in the middle of nowhere, pooping in a five-gallon bucket, they be clawing at each other's throat. Please go watch that. I'm going to bring my friend up here, Mr. Reverend Lewis. You ready, my friend? All right. I'm about to bring in Reverend Lewis. How, you How doing, are you, sir? Friend? It's good to meet you. Good to meet you. How you doing? I've been watching you for the past three years. Oh, really? Really? And and I this is the first time chiming in and I I've, I've been watching you do it and I really wanted to say I've been praying for you and your family. I've been watching your move for for really for the past few years and I've been prepping and things like that. And um and I just want to just let you know that there are people out there who are watching you and learning from you and prepping and things like that. And when you're working out there so hard on your land. I tell you, Reese, I sent you a message just now, and my message was to you because you probably have hit on this anyway, to be honest with you, because I do things because I prep and do some things. But I yeah. sent you a message to ask you, have you ever heard of the air conditioner, the Icy Breeze air conditioner? Oh, that was you. No, I have not. No, I have not. Okay, what it is, it's an air conditioner. Because you have an ice maker like I have an ice maker, right? The little right. ice maker. What it is, it's an air conditioner, but it's, a, it's, a, I'm sorry, it's, it's a, it's a, um, I want to say it right way. It's a, it's a cooler, but it's an air conditioner cooler, but only uses the valve. It's not blow out water on you. It blows out cool air. And as I drive across country and I, I drive pretty much everywhere I go, it will blow out cool air on you. So even if you had a place where you just sat back in your car or your RV for a moment in a room or something like that, you could even take the nozzle out where it will blow cool air on you and you could be cool in that spot. And as long as the water stay cool in the air, air in the water cooler, it blows like an air conditioner. So when I see you working out here and you're and you in the heat and stuff like that, I be thinking like you, like I would my brother, and I be saying, I just want you to be cool and I want you to be all right. So believe it or not, while I was driving in my car, you even catch me when I'm driving back and forth in my car. 
I'm out shopping and I saw you out live and I said, I'm going to send him a message. I didn't know I would get you live. I just happened to pick you up live and I said, I'm going to send him a message. And all of a sudden I send you live and I happened to come in and I said, let me send him a message and let him know that somebody is praying for you. Because in my first, my first name is Dean. I, Lewis is what's on my handle, but my first name is Dean. But Lewis is my middle name. That's just how it comes in when I send messages. Because you know how some people just put stuff in to put in. So I want to tell you that first off, because you know how that goes, right? Yes. People give you part of that. But my first name is Dean. My middle name is Lewis. But I just want to let you know that you blessed me over the years. I have all my, you know, my, um, what, what, what do you want to call that? I have all my power stations. The energizer I got because of you, by the way. <laughs> And, 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 I, and, I, and I have my power stages in like you, um, um, solar power for the home and all that wonderful stuff and all those wonderful things. Now, I've been doing some prepping, just like you said, and things that you taught me, tiny tidbits that you taught me on what to look for. And just like you said, I'm not going to tell you what to do because you have to do the homework for yourself. And you're so on the money, but tiny tidbits you give folks and how to look for yourself. You remind me of my family, by the way. We're probably related, by the way. It, 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 I think it's in the forehead. But anyway. <laughs> mine is starting to slip a little further. I keep yeah. I yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I really want to say, because I just happened to stop as I was driving through, but I want to say, God bless you. I want to really just say that some, no matter what, when we get the when, when you get negative comments, I want you to know that there is somebody out there who's hearing you. I want to let you know there is somebody out there praying for you, and I tune into you. I be hearing you all the time, and I don't want you to take no negative comment. Somebody's out there praying for you, saying, "Yeah, no matter what comes your way." Somebody's out there praying for you, say, "You keep doing what you're doing," because I'm just like you. I'm hunkering in. I got my in my land is where I am. I'm hunkering in in my homestead where I'm at. I got my land, and God's blessing me. And you've taught me a lot. And if nothing else, you're passing on wisdom. And I hope that everybody listen to the wisdom that you're passing on and that we're picking that up. So you've blessed me a great deal. You keep being a blessing to all, all trust. You have a lovely wife and, and a, a man who, a, a God bless a man who has a wife has a good thing. And you tell her she's God's bless you with a good wife. And I could tell that when I see your interactions between one another, somebody's praying for you all. So whenever you see Lewis on there, that is me. When you see a little message from Lewis coming in, I, I'm not a technical person. So when you see that Lewis in there, that's me. When you see a little message come from Lewis. But look okay. at that icy breeze, though, because all it takes is a little water. But it doesn't burn up any juice on your on your on your power station. A small power station will run it all day. Water at the bottom because you have the ice maker. If you make your own ice and just put it at the bottom of there and put water in there, that wow. thing will blow cool air out there for you when you're working outside. It'll yes. be a relief to you. Yes. yes. It'll be a relief. You are so right. And if anything, if it doesn't cool me off, I can at least drink the water. Hey, but there you go. Hey, guess what? You, you can also put what your water in there too, because it is a cooler too. Right. So, so it's just, it's just not, it's just not, um, it's just not. And you can make blocks of ice and just put it in the bottom. You can put blocks of ice in there and just put the water up, maybe about eight inches of water in there. And you know how cooler keep water all day. It will keep that water in there cold for you all day and blow and blow cold. The water blows out to you. It's a cooler and it functions just like the air conditioner would in your car. It runs it through a metal, a, a, a metal uh, machine like an air conditioner in your car. It runs it up through there in the top of the thing in the cooler. So please look up Icy Breeze, spell with I C Y, Icy Breeze. I would just be. Please do that for me, okay? So mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to check on out. I, okay. I just feel honored to just talk to you, and God bless you. You keep being safe, okay, my friend? Thank you. Thank you, my friend, okay? God bless yes, you. Yes, sir. All right. God bless you, man. Bye-bye, right. right. sir. Everybody give him a round of applause. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. You must, you must, have, you must have knew where my head was, because sometimes 
all content creators we get negative comments and you know some of them just kick you right right in the cheeks and you kind of like ah, i'm done with this every blue moon you need that you need that pep talk so i want to say thank you for that thank you um I, I i have to look more into this cooler that he's talking about but yes thank you and i'm glad that stopped me that actually stopped me because I didn't want to go no further with what I had to say because I was about to go. I was tired of peeking around a dumpster and I was about to head down the alley on what I think. And I don't want to do that. Y'all don't want that from me. There's plenty of channels out there that do it. I don't like doing it. If we talking in person, okay. Oh, I'm going to tell you what I think. I don't want to do that on social media. Because I, you don't want to know why I feel such a, 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 a sense of desperation and, and I need to hurry up. Everybody just sitting around twiddling their thumbs. You have no idea what's going on. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea what's going on. If, if I'm at a level where I don't know what's going on, and there's people under me that don't know even more, you have no idea how, I'm going to say this, you have no idea how bad of a situation our country is in. That's all I'm going to say. Okay? And with that, any last, last questions and we out of here. How long we been in here? I know it's been over an hour. Okay, no questions whatsoever. We'll let it go. No tech questions. We came in here for the tech. Even when I was about to go deep, didn't nobody want to touch it. He carried me through, says, I feel your sense of urgency. I feel the same. Listen, my sense of urgency almost seems I, I feel crazy because there is no worse feeling on the planet earth when you know something and nobody else does you you're that person <clears throat> this smells smoke you ever done that and be like you smell that nobody else smells wait something is on fire man you tripping no you don't smell that you don't smell, don't y'all ain't y'all all around me telling me y'all don't smell that. Everybody think you tripping. But later that night on the news, an apartment complex a few blocks away burnt to a cinder and took a few folks with it. And then all your friends calling you, hey, yo, remember you were smelling something earlier today? Remember that? Yeah. Man, they said, what's the name complex? Just burnt to the ground. What? I told you I smelled something. You was right about that. Goo -hoo -hoo. <clears throat> it never fails, man. <clears throat> it never fails. Sweet Thumbs that you are not alone, Led. It's folks been at it for for a minute just wasn't on social media that's right that's right before before i was on social media i was prepping not as extensive as i am now but oh we was always ready i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you my first scare now i have been being ready before this but i'm gonna tell you my very very first scare was um the year 2000, Y2K. Does everybody remember the year 2000, Y2K? I could tell y'all some stuff about that day. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you. That was a day where I looked crazy with all the things that I had and the preparations that I had for back then. But when it was over, I was so glad that I was wrong. But here's the part that they told you later on. We were that close to all kind of horrible stuff happening, though. Even though nothing happened, y'all don't know how close we came 
to everything going down. It wasn't about wars. It was about this grid. Y'all don't know how close we just skipped that. Listen, and the, and the bad part is we really never recovered from that. We still, all it'll take is one little stupid thing to happen. So, uh, Survival Flair says, Led, you ain't alone. I know exactly. People have no idea. We sold out and we off grid. Oh, we sold out and went off grid a year ago. It's going to be bad. You know, I hope I'm wrong. I never would love to be wrong so much in my life. I hope I'm wrong. Because, <clears throat> okay, Dave Busby, we were not ready for Y2K. Nobody was. My friend, I man, my friend Don P cracked on me so bad. He like, man, you always doing crazy stuff, man. Why are you buying all them ramen noodles and cans of soup and stuff, man? You be tripping, dog. To this day, if I let y'all hear me on the phone with him, if I say, Remember the year 2000. Out of all the stuff we did in the year 2000, me and him together, fishing, everything. If I say, remember uh, the year 2000, you will hear him on the phone just start laughing. To this day, that's still funny to him. To this day, he don't prepare. That was funny to him. It wasn't funny to me. And he'll go on, man, you was tripping. He said, boy, you was eating them ramen noodles all the way up until y'all moved to Atlanta, Georgia, man. You was eating them same ramen noodles in Atlanta for years. I was, too. I was. I wasn't shame of it. Uh, hey, Rosemarie, how you doing? Say, I'm in Chicago. It's 28 degrees. Do I need to cover my blueberry bush in a container? You in Chicago? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Normally, I would say no. I don't know if people... Have, have anybody ever been to Chicago? Rosemarie, you live in Chicago, right? Has anybody ever been to Chicago? That was me and my wife's stomping grounds. Have you ever been to Chicago in January? Have you ever been to Chicago in December? Yes, Vision, leave the world behind. Yes. Has anybody ever been to Chicago, Illinois in January or December or February? I don't care how cold it is. I don't care what the temperature say. I don't care what the weatherman say. Take about 10 or 15 degrees off of anything else you see. Whatever that thermometer say, whatever the weatherman said it's supposed to be tonight, whatever, take another 10 degrees off. Because I have never in my life felt that, that I'm from Ohio. I'm right across the street from y'all. But not only is y'all getting that lake that frozen lake air. But y'all are literally in the middle of all them buildings. And that wind that whips around them buildings is like going to uh you ever you ever worked in a factory and stood in one in front of one of those big old industrial fans? Imagine that. Put that industrial fan inside of a a, a, a frozen semi-tractor trailer. The ones to keep the chicken frozen, even when it's 103 outside. I ain't never felt nothing like that. I love Chicago, but I ain't never felt no cold like that. I'm from the snow, and I I can't mess with Chicago people. <laughs> I'm from, born and raised in the snow, but Chicago people is a whole different brand of people. New York, you a whole different breed and brand of people. Their cold is different from other people's cold, man, because the cold 
intensifies around them buildings. You can't just come out. Don't leave your groceries in the car. You got to watch what you leave in your car. Because if you leave a jug of milk in the car, like, oh, I forgot that jug of milk. Just leave it out there. It's a, it's a rock now. If you left it out there for an hour in your car, it's a rock. It's not milk anymore. It's, it's, a, it's a popsicle. Leave it out in the car. Leave it. You don't just drink. bring your drink with you and, and leave it in the car. And it's, it's done. It's finished. It's ruined. Period. Everybody always talk about the crime in Chicago. Screw, screw, you know what the real crime in Chicago is? The, the cold. That's the real criminal. Because <laughs> it will steal your soul, man. Chicago's cold will steal your soul. Let me stop because I went too deep. Whew. Okay. Patient Saint said, cover, cover the blueberries, uh, Ross, no matter what. I don't know. I don't care why. Just cover it for me. Just came in looking to get a two to 3,000 watt solar generator in a couple weeks. What do you think about the Opus brand and what do you recommend? I have done a review on the Opus and I'm going to release that video. They have a new Opus. I was trying to remember what it was. 3,500. It's a bad boy. That's a bad boy. That's the video I'm scared to release because I'm in my pajamas and they high waters and people ain't even going to care about the generator. They're going to be like, damn, lay it. <laughs> so I'm going to release the video anyway. Uh, let me see. Okay, Sweet Thumb said, never been to Chicago in the winter. Heard the cold is disrespectful and the wind test, test your soul. Computer, cancel. Let me tell you something. No, the wind is not disrespectful. Okay, do you understand me? Chicago cold wind whipping around those deep dish pizza buildings is not disrespectful. Do you understand what this cold will do to you in Chicago downtown? Okay, is you you would you see all these people coming out talking about what Diddy did to him and stuff and oh uh, I was at this party. Hey, you will be in that thing too. Like yep. I got a report on Chicago when it was 1998 and I didn't know no better. I was young. I was tender and you know, they were older than me and dude, you, you, you will be me too in the Chicago wind because it will take advantage of you, man. It will, it will violate you. Oh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Y'all about to, y'all about to mess around. And, and, and that's, uh, Eduardo's Pizza for anybody that's asking. That's my spot. Eduardo's. Oh, let me tell you something. Have you ever been so cold? You a grown ass man now. Or a woman. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell y'all something y'all don't know. Have you ever been so cold you just peed on yourself? Have you ever been so cold that the cold persuaded your bladder to release itself? No, nah, you ain't been that cold, have you? Have you ever been so dang on cold you got in the house and didn't realize you done peed your pants? The cold made you pee. You didn't even know you had to pee. You didn't even, you ain't even been drinking anything. It's so cold. You in the club dancing. You dancing and ain't nobody really want to dance with you like, ugh. Like, dang, you know. Mm -hmm. what? what's going on why is everybody tripping then one girl walked by while she drinking it's like oh he peed his pants oh he grown ass nasty up Chicago you ain't been to Chicago in the winter Chicago will make you pee on yourself you grown and you are you ain't incontinent you, you can control your bladder. Chicago will change all of the rules for you, okay? Have you ever just wanted to pull your teeth out? You can't breathe through your mouth. You got to have your face, your eyeballs. Ah! You don't know this, man. Y'all don't know. Chicago people know. I know. 
you don't go out there in the stuff we wear, man. You can't. You can't. You know, everybody back in the 80s and stuff was thinking like uh, them triple fat down goose coats and the Gore-Tex boots and stuff. Let me tell you something. New York style, New York dress, New York style is almost not really a style. Just so happens the hip hop came around and brought attention, another kind of attention to New York. Man, if you don't wear the stuff that they wear, you might not make it home. You think seeing New Yorkers in some Timberland boots, oh yeah, that's just cool. We, we the ones turned it into a style, the rest of the country. Wearing uh, uh, triple fat goose coats, leather trench coat, leather trenches. That's Chicago. You better wear a trench coat. I don't give a damn. Wear a trench coat. You Man, you crazy. That's not a style, man. That's survival gear. You understand? That is survival gear. We just turned it into a style. Hip hop. That, what Won't we do it, though? <laughs> We're turning anything to fashion. Don't get me started. It's the wrong channel. Uh, Patient Saint said, you can take a breath of New York cold and, and uh, hack up a lung if you're not prepared. Man, look here. It will freeze your teeth out of your mouth. It will ruin everything. You will be ruined. You can get... Have you ever leaned up against a pole waiting on the bus and your coat got stuck to the pole? You wasn't wet or nothing that you thought but it's so cold it's cold as ice it's so dry that it sucked whatever moisture that was in your coat out in Chicago this is a true story my wife can vouch for me I got a leather three quarter length trench coat and I got a leather full length trench coat you can be so cold that your leather turn into cardboard what Look, like this. Your leather coat. Why you think Shaft looks so cool? And it's, you can't get your coat to move like Shaft because he was froze to death. Your trench coat moved too much. Everybody was trying to wear Shaft trench coat while he running after the bad guy. His coat still looked cool while he was running because it was frozen solid people be trying to wear a trench coat i want that one like shaft you got the one like shaft you just needed to be about 40 degrees below zero colder than what it is right now and then you will look as cool as shaft can't make this up man Chicago, I love Chicago. Everybody, Chicago get a bad rap, man. Chicago get a bad rap, and I understand. But it's so much more to Illinois than, than violence and, and gunshots and gang shootings. That's in every city. I don't know why they focus just on that part of Chicago. That is so unfair. That's, that's my stomping ground. That's my world, and I think it's unfair. Just like it's unfair to keep saying uh, only Flint, Michigan got green water undrinkable water that is not fair thing to say i'll be like us northerners from around the great lakes be like um why is everybody talking about only flint michigan what about toledo what about detroit that all of that wraps right around that the mitten all of that is right there that undrinkable water is not just for the city of Flint, but the media focuses on that one small city, but is literally killing all of us. I'm not even going to go there because I know more than people want me to say. I'm telling you. That's why people be like, oh, Chicago, Chicago, horrible. No, it's not. It ain't no more horrible than nowhere else. It's parts of every city you stay away from. Here in South Carolina, it's parts of this city I live in right now. Can't pay me to go over there. Can't pay me to go. Can't pay me. Okay. Got me started on Chicago. 
I love Chicago, man. I would go as, as many times as I could possibly go. And people used to be like, it's dangerous there. Dangerous. It's dangerous in Toledo. Yeah. So I went to, uh, went to Chicago for the first time during boot camp back in January 1999. Coldest weather I've ever experienced. Thought my fingers were going to break from the, the cold itself. March in March in foot of snow. March in a foot of snow. There you go. Me and my wife went ice skating. We were going to go ice skating. Didn't make it. Why didn't we make it to ice skating? Number one, by the time we walked from our hotel to um, the, oh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you where we stay when we go to Chicago, the Palmer House Hilton. Every time we go, we stay in the Palmer House Hilton. From the time we walk to, walk from the Palmer House Hilton to the ice skating rink, a couple blocks away, you can't move, number one. Number two, you already ice skated all the way to the ice skating rink trying to keep your balance from busting your head open on the ice on the ground. By the time you're there, your muscles are sore, you tired, you out of breath, and y'all, y'all all talking, like, everybody talking like that. Yeah, you ain't never been this cold. You ain't never been this cold where talking dumb is okay. Like, hey, you want something to eat? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know if I want something. What is it? A pizza? You want some pizza? Man, let's just go back to the hotel. Man. Everybody sound like Scarface. Yeah, because everybody is so cold. If you know, if you if you move your lips, that boy gonna crack right down the middle. You know how that feels. You're like, everybody talk like that. And the only people, <laughs> the only people that is not that that just seem never to be cold in Chicago, Illinois, is uh, <laughs> lighter skinned folks. They don't never got no coats on. I couldn't understand that. How's y'all staying alive? And then you ask them for directions or something. You like, oh, uh, look, I. Uh, I got turned around and looking for the Palmer House Hilton. It, I think it was down here on Michigan Street or something. Oh, what you want to do is go and make a left. You're going to turn at Eduardo's. You're going to go right, go all the way down two blocks. You're going to be fine. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. Thank you. God bless you. God bless children. God bless everyone everywhere. Because you so cold. <laughs> They always just got on a little scarf and a little hat with a little the little ball on the top with some little frizzles. And they don't be cold, man. Little little boots and little shoes, little cute gloves. Oh, you want to make make a right, make a left, make a right, make a right, go down two blocks. You're good. Okay. Have a nice day. Merry Christmas. Happy life. Was they drinking antifreeze <laughs> or something? Because I don't understand how they okay. And they they joints can move. They 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 coats wasn't frozen to them. Nothing. They were so chipper. <laughs> they got to have antifreeze for blood because ain't even the, the dog is at the fire hydrant just looking at it because he know if I pee on this fire hydrant, it'll probably be the last thing I ever do. The dog just sitting there just trembling, looking at the fire hydrant like, boy, I sure got to pee. He think he got to pee, but he don't know the cold made him pee on himself. He don't even know. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm going there again. Let me stop. All I'm saying is Chicago get a bad rap that it does not deserve no more than any other city. Heard about Texas. African dreaming. Heard about Texas. Heard about Houston. It ain't no, no worse. It got parts bad like every city in the United States of America. Okay, so that's what I'm going. I'm gonna leave that right there. Uh, everybody, thank you for coming. I wish I could have answered more questions about tech. I'm still looking for questions. I don't got. I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, Roz, cover please. Cover your um. Cover your blueberries. No matter what, it don't matter whether they need to be or not. Just cover them up. Thank you, Vision Preparedness. Say, so I appreciate 
all you do for the community, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, I want you to go and have a wonderful night. Coming in 2024, we're going to be hitting hard on this channel because a lot of people need, they got a lot of stuff going on. And we're going to do a little twist on this channel too. We're going to switch it up a little bit. All right. So uh, I got a couple ideas I want to run past y'all. With that being said, Lead Tech 73. I love you guys. Please have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful holiday season. Whether you let me let me let me say this on my way out. <clears throat> How many people don't believe in Christmas? Just say yes or no. How many people do not believe in Christmas? I ain't hold I ain't hold nothing against you whether you do or you don't. I'm just it's just a simple question. You don't have to answer or you can say yes or no. It means something different to everybody. <clears throat> okay, I got a couple of no's. Got some yeses. Okay. That's about it. Bunch of no's. Okay. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to say this, okay? It means something different to everybody. Whether you celebrate, and I know everybody, some people say it's pagan holidays and, and so on and so forth. And, and, and I, I get it. I understand. I just want I just want you, whether you believe in the birth of Jesus now happening or not, it, this is the thing. <clears throat> you don't have to put up a Christmas tree and put presents under it to be kind. You just don't. I'm going to say this, and I know some people don't want to hear it, but I, I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. This is a time. I, I'm not going to get in the spiritual part of it because that's neither here nor there. That's whatever you believe in. I'm going to talk about another aspect of this, of this holiday. The system got us by the balls, right? We all know that. We can all agree with that. The system got us by the grapes, okay? Even the system gave us this brief period of time to spend with all the people you love. I'm not I'm not an advocate for the system. But I'm saying, damn, even they 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 got this one right. You do not have to put up a Christmas tree and put on your Christmas pajamas and your ugly sweater and put presents under the tree to enjoy your family and your loved ones. And I think some of us take this too far. I don't think it's pagan to enjoy the love that you share with your family. Now, all of the rest of that stuff, this, this, I, that I get it. And I, I think some of us take it too far. Like, I'm not celebrating nothing. You don't celebrate the joy and the birth of your loved one just had a child or, or your mom. This is a time that even the system say, you don't got to go to work for us, slave. This one time out of 365 days a year, most companies let you get a day or two off. And you don't want to say it because it's it's pagan is it though is it though i'm not saying you need to go outside to put lights all around your house and sing uh uh, uh bahu foray what i'm saying is this may and, and i'm speaking from experience mm. <laughs> i'm speaking from experience this may be the last time you see a lot of people, a lot of people, we looking at 2024, like 2024 is in a couple of weeks. 
A lot of people, a lot of us even here watching us today will not be here. So this is one of those only times that even the system said, we going to let you have one conjugal visit. That's what this is. It's a conjugal visit from the system. We all in the same prison cell, but they giving us one day to show a little bit of love. I'm not saying you got to celebrate it and go out and go singing jingle bells to each and every house with the rest of the choir from church. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, damn, if we ain't got no love, man, what do we got? If we ain't got no love, humanity is over with. I'm not saying you got to go worshiping all this stuff. I'm saying, because you can worship every day. What I'm saying is, if we forget about the love factor in what we're doing, we're ruined and we're finished as humanity. As a society, society is already on the brink of destruction. But as humanity, if we don't continue to try to love one another whenever the hell we can, we're all freaking doomed as a people. This ain't about your religion and your religious beliefs to me. I, that part, you can miss me with that. I, I'm not worried about what you believe in. I'm talking about you're going to you're going to share love and break bread with somebody tomorrow anyway. This one day, you mean you ain't going to show no love because <clears throat> the rest of the world, they're celebrating something that you don't believe in. That's fine. Because to me, Thanksgiving, you can keep that. But I, if this the only day that my family is off work because they made it. Uh, the, the the jailers let us free for one day, one conjugal visit so I can actually see my family for a couple of days and I may not see them for the rest of the year. I'll take it. Am I about to put on one of them little pilgrim hats? No. What do I think they did to the natives? Absolutely atrocity. Atrocity. But I want to see my family. And this is the only day they giving you. You do not have to do everything they way. They made this. Who say you got to do that? You don't. You can call it anything you want to. But the, the, the reason I'm saying this is because some of us take it too far. It's like I don't celebrate that. On this day, I lock myself in a closet and put some earphones in my head and I don't want to hear nothing for 48 hours. That is overboardly ridiculous. That's not what I mean. I'm talking about, damn, your uncle, your favorite uncle came over, you know, and he ain't seen his nephew or niece in, all, in about two years and you don't want to accept this gift because I don't celebrate this day. That, ain't, that gift ain't got nothing to do with it that day. It ain't got nothing to do. He love you, man. He miss you. And this is one of the only times he's going to be able to see you and tell you he love you and he miss you. Because I'm telling you this, our elders, and it ain't even our elders, hell, us, our peers, man, ain't nothing promised to us to be here tomorrow. We keep acting like we got another day. We all keep acting like we got a tomorrow. You might go to sleep tonight and that's it, son. So <clears throat> when I say happy holidays to you, I'm not talking about the ones that they've made. What about the ones that we made as a people? What about just dang on sharing some love and smile at one another? I walk through the store and nobody's smiling, man. Everybody's angry. Everybody's upset. Everybody is disgruntled. And it's all about money, 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 money. We done made money our God to the point we forgot about the love part. So to me, anything that's going to help me bring that back and put that back in order where it belongs, I'm with it. 
do Havre. I will never pretend that I don't think about every day or remember the things that happen to us as a people. I will never pretend that. But I also don't want to go another day without seeing my family. I don't want to use dumbass excuses because I didn't see my family. Period. That's all. That's it. So you don't have to believe in that. And I understand why you don't. I get it. But at the same time, don't sell yourself short on your family and your loved ones because of some something you got something that's a whole nother motive you got going on don't even think about that forget the christmas tree forget the presents if you want to but man go see your people man go I, listen i've talked to people that do not celebrate the holidays i get it okay remember that i get it they will not say so i don't want to participate in that what y'all doing you don't want to go see your mama you won't go see your daddy. And I know people about to hit me with scripture. I get it. You about to hit me with scripture. And you know what? I'm going to say this. You can hit me with as much scripture as you want to. And beliefs as you want to. But it ain't nothing like when your loved one pass away. And you think about all the times that you had a chance to tell them you love them or hug them or kiss them or hold them and you can't because of something that you worked up in your head and you don't even know the truth about nothing in the first place. That experience is something you just can't, you cannot live with. You cannot live with, okay? Let me go. Leah Farmer 73. I hope I love you and I hope you get a chance to show your love to your family and your friends yourself. Whether you believe in this day or not or whatever, the holiday, whatever. Just go love on somebody. So as I'm saying. All right. Leah Farmer 73. I love you and I'm out. Peace.